This weekend, a Sheraton business will be celebrating its 10th anniversary, and what a ride it's been. It's taken the owner from small town Iowa all the way to the palaces of the Middle East. Channel 13's Andy Fales shows us how it all got kick started. His story is new at 10. Yeah, without that, um, it would not go down the track that fast. I built a birdhouse in high school shop class. Gary Chip built this motorcycle. I didn't really care much for the English or math or history. Uh, that wasn't a problem. His dad, Bob, owned the Harley Davidson dealership in town. The frame itself, um, we were building that out of Chrome Molly. And he had a career already lined up. I was working in sales uh, on the weekends, and then I would work uh, in the service department during the week and do performance. Uh, upgrades. He and the others were beefing up bikes when a special request came in from a Harley owner in 2003. He's like, well, I, I don't want to make it go faster. I want to enhance the look of it by putting a bigger tire on the bike. Boom. Go ahead, Jason. Gary Chip had found his own niche. I took that motorcycle that same year to Daytona Bike Week. Um, and uh, as I was riding down the road, Howard Kelly with Hot Bike Magazine um, stopped me and said, I want to do a photo shoot on this bike. I've never seen a bagger with this big a tire on the bike. Quick digression. This is a bagger. Bags on back, rides better than other road bikes. A soft tail, nothing wrong with soft tail, great bike. Um, ride it 100 miles, you're going to want to be home. Uh, jump on the bagger and you can put an 800 mile day in. Okay, back to Gary's story. Eight, nine months goes by. Uh, the magazine article comes out, uh, the bike's on the cover of the magazine, um, plus a six-page spread on it. We had over 200 phone calls at my dad's Harley dealership. The article dubbed it the Fat Bagger, and the name stuck. Gary and his fledgling company were soon getting bikes from all over, fattening them up and sending them back out. Then he got creative. Started thinking, well, what if we installed a product like this while you wait? Fat Baggers turned a semi into a mobile shop and drove it to South Dakota to offer widening kits to the giant crowd at Sturgis. We couldn't install enough of it. We put on 16 conversions, hauled home a trailer load of motorcycles to convert in our shop. So we knew at that point that there was a there was a demand for our product. <laughs> The next step came easily. Fat baggers hired more people and started building bikes from the ground up. At first, the orders were simple, wide frames and custom paint. But then came the calls from the Middle East. And one of those people um, is, was based out of Lebanon. Fat baggers' bikes began heading to billionaire Prime Minister Saad Hariri in Lebanon. He soon wanted more bikes in wilder designs and fat baggers accommodated. This is the arm ring coming down through the dash. This will extend through the fender um, as we finish it all the way down the back. The samurai bike will be a gift. Hariri has gifted them to the king and queen of Jordan, to the prime minister of the UAE, and to the king of Saudi Arabia. But this one he'll keep for himself. It was just finished this week. An Indian airbrushed and customized to the very max with bear claws and leather. The engraved pipes of the work of Rick in the back who does it all freehand and can spend 600 hours on one bike. The bike is art, but with one condition. Museum quality, but it's, uh, it's still a very rideable, usable product. For 10 years now, Fat Baggers Inc. has been following that creed loud but livable. They have the ability to look at something and see how to make it better and they've done a very very good job at that. From shop class to first class shop, from Sheraton to the Middle East, one guy doing exactly what he was meant to do. Andy Fails, Channel 13 News. Wow, <laughs> if you like what you see from Fat Baggers, maybe you think it looks like a cool place to work. Well, you're in luck. They've got six job openings in paint and body work. You're going to find their contact information on their website, fatbaggers.com. It's easy to understand why they need to hire people. Yeah, it's the engraving. Wow. That's